Is This a Great State or What? is sponsored by Weoki. We got you, Oklahoma. McAllister, El Reno, Alva, three towns in different places, but with something in common. Each hosted prisoner of war camps during World War II. Now, there's little left of them now, but Galen Culver found a small piece of that history at a barber shop in northwest Oklahoma. This unique little structure stands guard at the west end of Main Street, occupying this spot since just after the 1947 tornado. Because this part of town had been wiped out. Yes, everything on this end of town was gone. The current owner, Sherry Lucky Privet, remembers driving by it as a kid. I knew it was something. And I always want, I would tell my mom, that's the coolest building. I want to go in there one of these days. I want to work there one of these days. It's been lots of things over the years. The wagon wheel drive up diner, a bait shop, an oil field business, and a barber shop since 1981. When he decided to retire, he asked me if I wanted to buy it, and here I am. But the original design, windows all the way around to keep watch from all directions, recalls the guard towers that used to keep in prisoners of war on American soil. It was 10 to, 10 to 18 foot up in the air on top of stilts. The POW camp at Alva only operated for a couple of years until the end of the war. An enterprising family in Woodward bought three of these guard shacks and brought them to town. I would love to know what stories this building could tell, if, it could, if the walls could talk. Over the years, a lot of people forgot about that original history, which is partly why Sherry put a binder together when she bought this place last year. I think I should go ahead and tell everybody about it. and carry on the history of it. Not much has changed in here. The sharpshooters are gone. The hot plate from the wagon wheel also gone. But Sherry is standing her post on her shop's unique history. She's also changing the name. It's officially the Guard Shack once again. It speaks for itself. It kind of guards this intersection, doesn't it? It does. It does. <laughs> in Woodward, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? Wow, that's something. Now, Sherry says the three guard shacks brought in from Alva are still in Woodward. Hers is at 23rd and Main. There's another in a backyard nearby. And the third sits behind a place called Junkie Jim's off Highway 270.